the canary and rose by kate slaughter mckinney read for librivox dot org a lovely tea rose in a new autumn gown looked in at the window one day and said with a scorn tis a beautiful morn but ugly enough is your lay do you never grow weary of singing your songs shut up in that prison of brass i do not admire your out-of-tune lyre and none seem to listen who pass last night as i beaded my bodice with dew and shook the perfume from the lace there came to the fence such a beautiful prince and said looking into my face too lovely thou art to live here so obscure to-morrow with me thou shalt roam so he's coming to-day and will bear me away the queen of his heart and his home now the dear little songster was pruning her wing that had borrowed the sun's yellow ray and shaking a note in her quivering throat replied in an indifferent way my songs will not trouble you long i discern this breeze is forerunning a storm and should he delay this prince on the way you must seek other quarters more warm do you think said the rose with a tremulous tone the rain would disfigure my face but e'en as she spoke in the sky there awoke a wind that demolished the vase with features all pale and distorted she cried still clinging up close to the glass cry for help said the bird they will hear not a word for none seem to listen who pass there's a moral concealed in the little bird's throat that never her song will disclose but oft when the cloud for the sun makes a shroud she thinks of the beautiful rose who died with a coronet touching her brow crushed from sight by the hurrying throng and she smiles at a prince who yet leans on the fence and hears nothing else but her song end of poem this recording is in the public domain